a very simple way how to flash your BIOS on your BC200 board. For this you need a flash drive, you need to format it in FAT32 uh, file system. After that all you need is just to copy the files which uh, you will find in the link in the video description. You have to copy the files to the memory stick. After that you need to boot in uh, UA UEFI environment and then you will be able to process the uh, BIOS update. So here I am already uh, switched on my BC. I am going to reboot it. For this you need to press Ctrl plus 1. You, you push restart. Once your system is restarting you just have to hit several times a delete del key and then you will enter to the BIOS. Now you see my BC is rebooting. I'm hitting Dell and I'm entering the BIOS. You need to uh, go to the UEFI boot uh, option, click enter and then you're gonna reboot to the e UEFI environment. All right, here you need to uh, enter the uh, disk where you have your uh, BIOS copied. So uh, you text, you type dir, and then you see that this is not the uh, drive. Try fs01. You hit dir. Now you see your files. You are in correct location. After that, uh, I suggest you do the backup of your original BIOS. For this, uh, you need to enter command uh, afuefx. 64 EFI, this is the program which is uh, actually uh, flashing the BIOS and the same program can do the backup of the file. So you enter the command, now you see that to save your current ROM file you need to add uh, hash, you need to add uh, slash O. So now you repeat the same command and you add slash O and hit enter. And then you need to also add the name of the file you want to create. So as you see, I put a, just a backup. So after hitting enter, you will see that the uh, program is reading your current flash ROM. It will check that it's uh, intact and then it will save it in the file as you name it. So next step, you will have to um, run the same program but with other uh, details you have to put uh, yeah I'm, I'm checking now that my uh, ROM file is saved alright after that you need to uh, run the same program but with uh, you first type a name of your BIOS file which you put on your uh, memory stick and then you put slash P and slash N. So, um, yeah, actually, as you see, I made a typo error. Uh, now uh, I will correct it. I, I forgot to make a space. Uh, so, as soon as you uh, put the program correctly, you hit enter, and then you see that uh, it's reading the uh, ROM file, the BIOS file from your flash drive, and um, it will flush it. So, uh, on my uh, stick I dropped two files, uh, the same you will find in video description. One is the uh, BIOS version 3 modified, which has a lot of uh, unlocked options. And uh, a second file, which called BC250 Steam, is the same BIOS, but with the Steam logo on the boot. But the main purpose is uh, actually to enable the uh, menu where you can uh, change uh, the VRAM allocation because um, it's uh, seriously affecting some of the games because as soon as you uh, choose 4 gigabyte or 512 megabyte up to you uh, the uh, system reserve this for VRAM but in case you need more it can always allocate more than this value and the other will be used for RAM but with the stock bias you will see that uh, you can only have 8 uh, gigabyte of VRAM and uh, at times it's too much and the system actually needs more RAM. 
so now I am rebooting again hitting Dell entering the BIOS and uh, you can you need to navigate to uh, uh, common options to GFX configuration and here you have to uh, change the frame buffer size to uh, 4 gig or 512 up to you it can be something 3 2 it will work as well but uh, one of the sweet spot is a 4 gig after that you just need to save your configuration and reboot again uh, the BIOS has a lot of other uh, open options for the modifying the um, timings of memory and so on but you have to be very careful because if you change something and system will not boot you will not be able to reflash the BIOS or reset it it's better do not tackle with something you don't know uh, the main idea is to change the frame buffer uh, VRAM allocation and uh, it will already improve a lot the performance of BC so now I'm rebooting I'm gonna enter Steam again and uh, I will show you in the options that actually the uh, VRAM allocation has changed and now it's mm. 4 gig okay so mm. once again be careful do not play with other options which you don't know and uh, if you have a mm. programmer which you can connect to the chip mm. then you can play as much as you want and you can always reflash it but if you only as me if you only have a, a regular BC nothing else you better don't uh, touch the options which can break your BC so now you see here in the options of the system that uh, BIOS version is uh, version 3 you can see here uh, RAM is 11.4 uh, basically 12 gig and VRAM size is 4 gigabyte like that you will have uh, a much better performance in the games and I am sure you will enjoy this setup as always leave your questions and comments and I'm gonna try to help you to solve any issues you have alright thank you for watching see you next time